Hey, hello guys. Today I want to give you a tour of my desk. I'm going to show you all the tech that I use for my YouTube stuff, streaming, and my side business that I do for my graphic design. I'll show you everything that is part of my workstation. Let's start with the desk. As you can see, it's an OEM desk that I got from Amazon. It had really good reviews, but it was, and it was fairly cheap. And I just use it, you know, to get more standing time because I don't stand as much as I should but it helps me focus when I stand up. As you can see, the top of the desk is an Ikea piece called White Lemon or something like that, but I have a plan to upgrade it or change it for something better in the future when I add another monitor just for the streaming purposes. Let's get into the tech. The computer that I have is an iMac from 2019. It's a shame that I, that it got discontinued this year because it's a great computer. I have it with 64 gigabytes of RAM. It has a Radeon Pro Vega with eight gigabytes of graphics and 3.6, I think, gigahertz with an eight core processor. It's, it's, it's really fast, I gotta tell you the truth. The iMac comes with a white keyboard and mouse, but I don't use none of those. I got the black and silver version of them. Sometimes instead of the mouse, I use the Apple trackpad, but when I wanna do some precise work, I use the Logitech MX Master 3, which is a really nice mouse, is really good for productivity. When I use the trackpad, I try to complement it with a wrist rest because the ergonomics with the trackpad are not really great. I also make YouTube tutorials, as you can tell. Since I work from home, I get a lot of calls and I use a Canon Rebel T7i camera with an Elgato Cam Link 4K. And with all of that, I use a microphone, which is a Shure SMB7B, I hope I'm saying this right, with an audio interface called Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. I have a set of headphones that I use with the Scarlett in particular, which are the Bose SL700. But my favorite ones, the ones that I use every day, are the Apple AirPods Max. They sound amazing and they synchronize with all the devices really, really easily. The microphone has an arm, which is really, really good. I think the, the brand is Rode, but I'm gonna put it in the description. But I, I forgot to mention that the microphone also uses a cloud lifter, something that boosts a little bit the gain of the microphone. And it's over there with the wires. I'm gonna try to show you where it is. It doesn't bother me. And I try to organize it as best as I could. Also, my computer is connected to an UPS, uninterrupted power source. Everything plugged into my desk is through that. So if there is a disruption of power or any, any sort of like low voltage, the uninterrupted power source can keep the computer and everything running for at least, I think like five to six hours. I try to manage the cable situation. I promise you guys as best as I could, but this is what I got at the end of the day. I also use a MacBook Pro Max 24 graphics core version with 32 gigabytes of RAM. I use it mostly with universal control, but Sometimes when I just, I'm not at my house, I like to take out. This is my, this is even as powerful as the iMac. Sometimes when editing in Premiere Pro, it's a really fast machine. Okay, let's talk about the hard drive situation. <laughs> I have a lot of external drives and that's what you accumulate, if I could tell about graphic design. For the external hard drives, I have a Lazy for storage, which is a two terabyte one and also a G Technologies drive which is a four terabyte one and the Samsung T7 SSD with one terabyte. This one is amazing. It's because it's an SSD and I connect it through the uh, Thunderbolt port in the iMac and it runs really fast. I, I work directly from the SSD when I'm working my big projects in the computer. Uh, on the non-tech side of things, one of the things that I use normally is a bullet journal and the brand that I use for these little uh, books is the Baron Fig book. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, the one is the flagship one that they use. Uh, it looks amazing. And sometimes to complement uh, the experience in my desk, I like to use a candle. Well, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my workspace. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.